Welcome back, Hodlers. Today, we're going to be talking about Pokeswap. There's actually a couple of updates to the Pokeswap decks that we're going to discuss. Most of it's all on the testnet, but it's stuff coming to Pokeswap. And there's also been some fixes for the fees on liquidity pools. If you do like this type of content, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe to the channel for more crypto news and content. So Pokeswap recently has done a couple of updates. They've released this dev report out on their Medium page uh, discussing exactly what's changing. So there's a couple of changes with Azora, the, the PSwap decks, what's happening in Testnet, the changes in Testnet, and the Fearless Wallet that they're trying to push out. Obviously, the Fearless Wallet is going to that be that mobile DeFi wallet that we've been talking about. So we'll take a, a quick look at the updates that they're coming through. So a couple of the things that are going to be available swapping within the mobile application will be available within two weeks uh, within the testnet application. Now, if you are a mobile user for Sora, you can go ahead and click on these links in the Medium post. I will link that in the description down below. Now, the Sora team and the SubQuery team actually worked together to build out the Sora subscan.io. I, I believe the SubQuery team did it for them. Uh, but all that is, is basically like an ether scan for Sora. So you can scan everything, all the transactions and everything that's happened on the blockchain. Uh, it is all tracked within this new sub scan website. Again, I will leave this in the description down below. There's constantly new tools coming out for Sora. And I want to make sure that you guys have this. So that'll be down in the description below. So again, you can find that block explorer from a sub query that had uh, published that sub query, some partners for sub query, honorable mentions, I should just say is Akala and Moonbeam are the two uh, instant ones that obviously we recognize because we talk a lot about uh, on this channel. Uh, Akala being that new Polkadot DeFi that has Corora coming out for the KSM network that we just recently talked about. And then Moonbeam is looking to be the Ethereum of the Polkadot system. So with their update 21, they did fix the LP fee uh, issues. So I'm sure a lot of you have noticed that you haven't been getting your fees in your rewards. Uh, so your LP fees. Now I just want to be careful in saying this because the rewards that you get from the reward section in the PSwap decks don't currently show your vested rewards, which we'll, we'll talk about the vested rewards in a little bit. But this is the fees that are conducted between the trading pairs in what's happening. So that's what was fixed. So you probably noticed that your numbers weren't going up, but it was tracked and it was kept into the loop within the telegram that this would be fixed within the next couple of days. And sure enough, here it is. And this is what's going to happen with something like a soft launch. The DEX isn't completely done. So you're going to have little hiccups like this, but everything is accounted for, which is the big important part. With Testnet, they have added a couple of different features, which I'm actually pretty happy about. One big one is the dark mode within Testnet. Now, obviously, you can toggle it just up here. I am on the Testnet. This isn't on the live Pokeswap. Uh, so that is one major change that you will notice instantly when you're on the Testnet, at least. And I'm sure this is going to go live in short order. Now, on top of that, fiat values have also been included into the tool using the series tool. Now, we've discussed the series tool in a previous uh, video i think the last video that we talked about pokeswap this is what gives us all the usd values and the most current usd values for all the different tokens now what they mean by this is essentially the balance and balance is up here so if i go and say one zor it tells me what the usd dollar amount is referencing back to the series tool so this as well is going to be another change that's going to be added so this should accommodate people that are a little bit more used to say usd um, and, and whatnot. So this is your fiat value coming in on the Pokeswap decks. Additionally, anyone that speaks any of these languages, they're looking for some help for some nav native speakers in these languages to help review some of their translations. Uh, of course, you can go ahead, follow the link here and uh, contribute if that is something that you are interested in doing. But you can see here that they do have the language changer to switch to different languages. So they're at least making an effort to work towards that point. Next improvements that they're looking at is liquidity pool API improvements, uh, which allows for other other services to connect through an API code. They want to use more SS58 addresses in the Pokeswap web application. I'm not quite sure exactly what address type that is. Uh, so excuse me, I, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, and then they do plan on displaying the actual APYs for individual liquidity pools, which again will be super helpful for a lot of people to actually understand exactly what you're earning within the platform. Now, of course, we still have something like pswap.info slash LP that tells us that our active liquidity pools that are providing on the pswap, val, eth, and die pairs are providing 114% as of right now, as the current pswap price is. Uh, and then 
every one Zor in any other pool gives a 57%. So I'm assuming that'll be displayed somewhere within the pools on the actual network. But we do see a nice little graphic saying that the fiat values are in the test network, which we did take a look at here. So again, fiat values are within the test network. Next up is a fearless wallet and some changes to the fearless wallet. So again, that is their fearless wallet that they're looking to have mobile DeFi users use. Uh, so I do have the fearless wallet installed. You can install it. You have been able to install it for quite a while. Uh, either iOS or Android is available, but they are looking to make a couple of features and improvements with the staking. They also implemented new schematics uh, for their staking operations based on user feedback reapplying the Russian language so I don't know if that was uh, there before and taken away but uh, looks like they're trying to integrate that a lot more uh, this is incredibly bullish too because I'm not sure if you're in like the P swap telegram or whatever again if you don't use telegram be careful it's full of scammers I I don't really go there I, I mean I have an account I don't want to promote it in any way um, if you're on telegram you're most likely not talking to me so just keep that in mind but uh, the telegram is very very diverse and you can obviously tell that there are, there are a lot of different speakers so obviously the project has traction amongst a lot of different folks around the world now a cool thing on the pswap.info uh, slash LP website that I, I haven't discussed so we did look at the price so it tells us exactly what the uh, pswap is currently trading at which is 6.3 uh, cents uh, and then it does tell us the total market cap is 232 million dollars for pswap uh, it gives us our lp rewards which we already looked at that it gives us our tbc and how much we're gaining or losing from the tbc currently and then it shows us the actual chart the price chart that pswap is currently at so you can see live data for pswap if you'd like at any point through uh, that uh, website just going there and you're able to see the actual chart and base it off here now obviously we don't have any indicators in any way we, we don't have like anything to reference anything off of within the chart uh, but it does at least give us a good idea to identify trends you know you can still write and draw trend lines i guess on another program just to see what's going on but this is much better than what i've been using in trading view just to see wrapped eth and zor and uh, other other tear, uh, pairs on other exchanges but here this is at least a most accurate chart of the price changes for pswap so i guess to cap off this video i wanted to talk a little bit about why i'm so bullish on pswap than maybe other dexes now i wouldn't necessarily say that i'm more bullish on pswap than maybe dexes on substrate i'm bullish on the substrate code base i'm bullish on polka dot you guys can tell obviously from the channel i'm a huge polka dot bull i love polka dot i love gavin wood i i think the whole blockchain environment with polka dot is going to do incredible things with interoperability in space onboarding layer one as well so i don't necessarily see pokeswap as the end all be all i just see it as a very bullish dex i just think that it's a little bit more bullish to be on this than maybe other projects that i was currently in now i don't want to discount projects like uh, akala or corora i think they're going to be incredible DeFi platforms and i'm absolutely going to be using them making videos and providing liquidity on both of them as soon as they go live so i would expect that as well so don't think that i'm just going to hold hard on on just p swap and not dip my toes on anything else i just think where p swap can go with the governance structure p swap deflationary aspect for the actual token works because if you don't know right now we're earning vested rewards on the burned p swap so p swap token is deflationary by the burning structure now of course liquidity pool providers are earning most of the burned tokens right now so instead of being burnt they're being reminted into tokens and given to liquidity pool holders but the amount that we get as liquidity pool holders is going to reduce over time and obviously the token is going to be more scarce because more is being burnt out of the system so it is deflationary uh, in essence which is why i think the pokeswap token and the pokeswap dex is going to do well now there's a lot of hype about it as well and a lot of user interest and a lot of things that are happening plus it's one of the most working substrate dexes out there and through all its problems, it's done pretty well, in my opinion. I think that there's a lot to still go for Pokeswap. I still think there's a lot of room to grow. And obviously, anyone in Pokeswap right now, sure, it's a speculative bet, but we are all really early to being here on the Pokeswap platform. Now, again, some of my price targets that I've set out for Pokeswap are based on the current circulating supply of tokens, but we know the circulating supply is going to go down over time. That's it for me. Hopefully you guys found this video informative. If you did, go ahead and give me a like. It really helps support out this channel. And if you want to watch me live, go ahead and check me out 11 a.m. tomorrow morning, uh, Coffee and Crypto, every Saturday. 
Uh, I'll see you there.